personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is breaking news in the sport of boxing. This is a story, and this is news that you will only get here on True School Sports. And I, and I got it directly from the source himself. So here it is, man. Uh, as you guys can see by the title, Angelo Leo, great friend of the channel, you know, the former WBO super bantamweight champion of the world you know yet we haven't seen a lot of angelo leo in a long time we haven't heard a lot from angelo leo in a long time so far as in the boxing ring he hasn't fought since last since june of 2021 against aaron alameda so time is going by um and a lot of people have been asking me bt what's been going on with angelo leo why haven't we why, why hasn't he had a fight when is he fighting again when is the next date and um you know now i've gotten the green light for him to speak on it so now i can speak on it a little bit and that's the fact that uh, he was locked into uh, a, a contract at many other promotions. He had some uh, disputes with them, and 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 obviously uh, that led to him not fighting. So, um, pretty much, he spent all twenty twenty two trying to get out of his contract or waiting to get out of his contract, and and that's what happened. He lost a year of his time, but now I'm happy to report here on True School Sports exclusively that. Angelo Leo is in fact out of his Mayweather other promotions contract meaning that he is at this juncture in time in this moment in time He is a free agent. So, you know top rank, you know, Bob Arum, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions Sign him up because We're talking about a former world champion. We're talking about a fighter who is a fun fan friendly fighter to watch You know volume puncher um, Volume style come forward fighter, but not just that I can speak to this because I, because I've had the honor to spend time and watch Angelo Leo spar countless rounds with the likes of Hector Luis Garcia. I, I've seen Angelo spar Hector Luis Garcia, Max Ordinellis, um and just a whole host of fighters, you know. So I, I've seen, I've seen how he deals with different styles and different looks, and I can, I can definitely say that um, the boxing world has not seen the best Angelo Leo. At least I, I that's what I believe. I, I don't think we've seen the best Angelo Leo. And you know, with him being active again, you know, I've been told by him, and he stated here. You know, he stated here on this channel um, on numerous occasions when I've had him on for lives and interviews uh, within the last year or so that he wants to compete and he will be competing. He will no longer be at 122. He will be competing at 126. He will be in the featherweight division. So we look at the featherweight division. We look at like the landscape. Look at the champions right now. On this January 14, 2023, 12:24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you know, the champions at Featherweight are, you know, you got Ray Vargas in the WBC who's taking on Oshaki Foster soon. You got Lee Wood in the, in the WBA who's taking on Mauricio Barcolara soon. You got Venado Lopez who just beat Josh Warrington for the IBF belt. And then you got Emmanuel Navarrete who holds the WBO. So of those guys, I feel like all those guys make for great fights, Angelo Leo. Um, two of those fighters are Mexican fighters. Angelo's Mexican-American. Um, so I, I think um, there's definitely some some great fights to, to discuss. Uh, the one that really jumps out at me that I'll, if, if, if for me, if, if Angelo could fight for another belt, um, I would like to see him fight Navarrete. You know, I think Navarrete versus him be a great fight. Two volume punchers. Um, I think Navarrete is the kind of fighter that would actually bring out the best Angelo, and you guys would get a really good look at what he can do. But I mean, apart from the champions, you got guys like uh, Isaac Dogbe in the division. Um, Mauricio Lara, you know, you got Odebeck Komatov from here in South Florida, who I, who, who I like a lot. You got him in the, w, in the WBA. You got uh, Mick Collin. You got um, Rabisi Ramirez. Joet Gonzalez could be another one. Uh, Ruben Villa, Jordan Gill, Thomas Ward, um, Mick Collin, Raymond Ford. You know, Raymond Ford used to run his mouth a lot about Angelo Leo when, when Angelo was champion. So Raymond Ford, if he wants to smoke, he's already, he's already got his ass whooped by a couple of pressure fighters. He'll get beat up by Angelo, but like, like, like you got him. Nick Ball, there's so many good good fighters out there for um, Angel Leo to go ahead and fight, and um, I'm just hoping sooner rather than later we get we get some news on a deal because I want to vent about this a little bit. And this is my this is just my opinion. Like Angel Leo, when he won the world title, he was like what 26, I believe, had to be about 26. So he won the world title when he was 26. He was undefeated at that time. He put on a, a just a, a, a clinic in pressure fighting with Tremaine Williams when he won the title. And mind you, he fought Tremaine Williams on short notice, which is not always easy to do to fight a, 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 
an undefeated, confident southpaw fighter on short notice. Very hard, very hard to do. Wasn't very hard for him. Beat him up so badly that the, the trainer of, of, of uh, Tremaine Williams, Tremaine, Tremaine Williams, had to pick him up off the stool uh, in the later rounds. So it, it was that bad. But um, you know, I thought I thought Mel the promotions did a good job as far as getting him in position to to fight for a title and and, and, and getting his name out there. But when he won the title, and this is my opinion. I, I don't really think Mayweather Promotions had uh, the best plans for him. Like, I don't think they really did their best as far as pushing him for, uh, forward. Because I, I just feel like they had a promotional home run, in my opinion. Like, Angel Leo uh, uh, had a great story behind him, you know, with, with him being the first New Mexican, uh, the first world champion from New Mexico since Johnny Tapia and um, Danny Romero. You know, you had you had that. You had the fact that Mexican American undefeated champion promoted by Floyd. I mean, it made a lot of sense, and um, I just for me personally, like, like I'm sure they they did what they could, but for me personally, I think you know he didn't have to fight Stephen Fulton right away. But listen, they, they put him over Fulton. He didn't get the job done. It is what it is. Guy has a plan. So now we're here at 126. Got a lot of great fights to be made. A lot of a lot of great fighters to fight. Make listen, get the contracts right. Come correct and, and listen, Angelo Leo showed you many times in his career he'll fight anybody. He'll fight Tremaine. He fought Tremaine Williams, then he fought Steve Fulton, he's fought um Cesar Rocky Juarez. You know, look you talk about some of the like like the the uh, the, the higher risk, low reward guys that he fought early in his career that maybe weren't the biggest names. Think about a fighter like uh Neil John Tabanow, you know, he he fought top guys, you know, he fought top guys and I don't think we've seen the best of Angelo. And you if you ask anybody in Vegas Ask most of the fighters that have been in there, been been in there with him. They'll tell you that uh, he's a, he's a top guy. He's a, he's a top tier, upper echelon fighter. And uh, I'm I'm just looking forward to him putting what was a nightmare 2022 behind him, as far as boxing goes, and um, getting back to doing what he does best, and that's being the 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 fighter that I know he can be, in and 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 showing the world that showing the world of what I've seen in the gym, you know. So um. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just gonna come out and say it right now. Just just so long as he's active in 2023 and moving forward, I'm just gonna say it right now. And the new, and the new two-time, two-division world champion from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Angelo Chinito Leo, coming to a TV screen near you. So uh, yeah, man. Uh, for those of you who follow my channel that are fans of Angelo, make sure you guys in the comments, you know, drop that support for Angelo. You know, write write nice messages. Um, let me know like what fights do you want to see him in i mean he probably can't get the champions right away so if he can't get the champions uh you guys let me know in the comments down below when angelo does get active again who do you want to see him fight uh let me know in the comments down below uh make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just kidding dang so until next time take care guys thank you for watching another video on the untouchable true school sports empire for more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.